Hi, I am David Prada Garcia, PhD student from the University of Salamanca, and with the mentoring of uh, Juan Cruz Benito and Francisco José García Peñalbo, I am going to present a uh, development of algorithms and methods for the simulation and improvement in a quantum natural language processing area. First, I am presenting an introduction, next a, a systematic literature review, and after that I'm giving a little explanation of quantum natural language processing and a proof of concept. Uh, to achieve uh, faster computational speed and classical computing, uh, quantum computing is rapidly evolving to become one of the most popular areas in computer engineering. Uh, the advent of uh, noisy intermediate scale quantum devices or NIC devices uh, has made it possible to perform this work on quantum computers in areas like uh, chemistry, finance or machine learning. In the last one, uh, one of the sub areas of interest is quantum natural language processing and one of the lines of research uh, already allows uh, not only to encoding uh, words into qubits, uh, also the association of these words uh, according to their syntactic categorization uh, with uh, quantum combinational circuits or ansatz. Uh, to allow, for example, the, the association of the circuits to a neural network. At the beginning of 2022, uh, we published a systematic literature review in the quantum machine learning field. This is a review of the literature published uh, between 2017 and 2021 that was presented to identify, analyze, and classify the different algorithms uh, using quantum machine learning and their applications. Uh, some of the main types of algorithms uh, found are implementation of classical machine learning or uh, deep learning algorithms, uh, such as super vector machines, k proximal model, or quantum neural networks. Uh, here we can see a, a quantum neuron, a complete back propagation neural net, and an application of a neural net uh, classifying 4x4 pixel images. Quantum natural language processing is a relatively new area of research which uses NLP models together with sentient quantum phenomena such as superposition, entanglement or interference to perform language-related tasks on quantum hardware. Bob Coe is one of the main authors of UNLP who established the conceptual and mathematical foundations for quantum natural language processing as well as the creation of the Discopy libraries which provide code tools to define an intuitive syntax to create string diagrams and monodel functions. Uh, Discosir is a library that establishes interactions between the sentence in text uh, to obtain the meaning of the whole text. And finally, Lambic is a set of tools that facilitates uh, syntactic analysis, rewriting and simplification of the string diagrams, as well as the conversion of them into ansatz or quantum circuits. As a next step of the thesis, a first approach has been done with a small proof of concept, uh, taking algorithms that are already defined and tested with satisfactory results, but uh, using them with different datasets. Uh, to create the new dataset, uh, we use the, the central structure uh, of the form noun plus conjunction plus noun plus verb plus positive or negative adjective. Uh, for example, Peter and Mike are happy in order to classify the sentence into positive or negative sentiment. Uh, first, uh, as we can see, the, the input sentences are taken from the dataset and a string diagram is formed and converted into normal form. Uh, there, after that, the resulting diagram is transformed into an ansatz using the instantaneous quantum polynomial ansatz. And once it's done, uh, the circuit is embedded in the model, and after the, the model is trained, we can observe that we obtain an 80% of accuracy in the validation dataset. Uh, through this small proof concept, it can be concluded that uh, once quantum devices are developed uh, and their size and quality are improved, uh, significant results can be obtained with non prototypical examples. Uh, for future lines of work, uh, it is proposed to expand the number of words that can be included uh, in the same sentences uh, to analyze up to the maximum point of number of qubits available and increase the complexity of the words association. I hope you have enjoyed the presentation and thank you so much for your attention.